Hello everyone and welcome back to Fins and Whiskers. Now this video is going to be a part two of a video I had already made and that is why you shouldn't breed Betta Splendens. Now the reason why I'm making a part two is because I feel that I was too subtle in my first video and I would like to go over this topic more because it is very important. Now before I get into the video, I just want to quickly mention that this applies to every Betta Splendens except Placats and Spades. You can breed Placats and Spades, but the other varieties are just not healthy and I do not condone the breeding of those bettas. Now the important thing to know about fish is that you can't measure their pain or happiness or any emotion with the same unit that we use for ourselves. So instead, we have to focus on measuring their environment, their genes, and their genetics. And when their environment is completely fine, that's when you have to question the genes and genetics. Now this is disregarding any parasitic diseases. If those come into contact with fish, that is part of their environment and you can control that. So now I just want to talk about their genes and genetics because this is where the problem lies with Betta Splendin. So the first thing to know is that there are no benefits for the Betta Splendins to have the long fins that they do. There are more drawbacks to it instead that are likely to cause harm to the Betta. Now these types have a high risk for fin rot, fin nipping, stress, and a weak immune system. It is important to know that just because your fish isn't nipping its fins does not make it okay. Another reason why it's important not to breed these types of bettas is because when they do get sick, stressed, or into old age, they are going to suffer much quicker and harder than the other types of bettas. And this is because the immune system is weaker than the other bettas that are healthy. Because of the sought for genes and genetics of these fish, their immune system does weaken. And because of this, they are more susceptible to diseases. An ethical breeder selects for their well-being rather than appearance. There are no good reasons for anyone to breed these types of bettas because they just cause harm, whether in the beginning or in the middle or the end. In the long run, the, the majority of these bettas will suffer. And the only reason people breed this type of line is for their exotic looks. A healthy long finned splendens will likely live long enough for its fins to deteriorate. And there is no long-term fix for this. Now this is especially true for Dumbos, Rose Tails, Half Moons, and Over Half Moon Bettas. Now Seachem's Stress Guard is one of the most strongest and effective medications for fin healing and even this will most likely not completely restore the fins. And lastly, splendens have become man-made and inhumane. We have selectively bred them for longer tail structures and fins for the beauty of it. In nature, their fins are much shorter because this is much healthier. It would be against survival to have these. It would be against survival to have these types of fins because it would get in the way of their health and safety. So I hope this will make you guys realize the issue with Betta Splendens and to hopefully develop a better outlook with either purchasing them or breeding them. I don't suggest either anymore because it's just going to be stressful for you and the fish because no matter how much you might try and give your best, that's not going to be enough because it's a genetic issue. And if you do purchase these fish, I myself have because I believed I could give them a good life, but that's just not how it works. The issue is encouraging people to continue this line. There are no benefits whatsoever for them. They are more susceptible to harm and it's just not worth it. There are several types of bettas that are completely healthy and fine to breed, 
and I really encourage those because those include wild type bettas or even just the placats and the spades from Splendence. Those will be fine because they have shorter fins. An ethical breeder would not choose looks over their well-being.